Hi guys, it's Dawn from Creative Appliques. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining us today. If you are a returning uh, subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. Today we're going to make this in the hoop face mask that has a finished satin edge. It has the elastics attached and it has a pocket for the nose wire. It's all done in one hooping. Let's go over what we need. We will need several pieces of fabric. The design itself calls for two, but you are welcome to use more than two, uh, four, six, how many you wish. The more um, pieces you have, obviously, the more um, filtration or, or better protection you will have. So you can have for the side that is the back side that's closest to the face, you can use a flannel fleece or you can use t-shirt knit for comfort if you wish. You can also use cotton quilting fabric. All the sizes of the pieces that you need are included in the PDF file, which is in the main folder. So when you download the file, you will open the file and in the main folder, you will see a PDF file there that will be the instructions and it will be step-by-step -step guide. In there, you will find the sizes for the small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large masks. It's all included in there, the sizes. I don't wanna go through the sizes now because right now in this video, we're making the large mask, okay? So fabric, cotton quilting fabric, um, flannel uh, f uh, or um, t-shirt knit all work. Scotch tape to tape down the pieces of fabric while it's in the hoop. You're going to need a good pair of um, cutting scissors to cut close to the stitching while the design is still in the hoop. Elastic, um, this is quarter inch elastic that I have here. You can also use ribbon instead. A pipe cleaner or some kind of wire for the nose. You could use floral wire. You can use um, jewelry wire. You can use twist ties. I personally like the um, soft bristle 12 inch pipe cleaner and then I fold it in half and it's inserted into the back here. I left it hanging out a little bit so you could see, but it would not stay like that. And then tear away stabilizer and the design loaded to your machine. So let's get started. Now we will sew the placement stitch for the mask. Now place the fabric on top of the stitching and we will sew that down. Now we are sewing the placement for the elastics. Now we will trim close to the stitching without cutting any of the stitching. You want to trim as closely as possible. And a good pair of scissors helps you get in there much easier. So um, there were four small parts that stitched right here and that's where you'll place the elastic. So we'll place the elastic on top of those piece parts and tape them down. So you want to make sure that when you're taping them, you are extending the elastic in towards the center and then the loop will be out on the edge, around the edge. So um, these pieces of elastic here will get covered by the top piece, the uh, front part of the mask. So you want to leave a good enough length because that's going to have a lot of tension on it and you want to make sure that there's enough caught inside the stitching um, to keep it secure. And so you see I'm trying to get it so that I can um, have it in one piece without any kind of twist to the elastic. So now we're going to um, stitch down the pieces of elastic. And now once that completes, remove the um, tape 
and then it will sew the buttonholes. This is where the, the um, casing is going to be for the nose wire. You can cut a slit in it now or you can wait until the very end. So now you place the top fabric down covering all the stitching, one, one layer, two layers, three layers, however many you wish, and tape it down. And now this is going to sew uh, the entire uh, mask together. So it's sewing over the elastic pieces and it's sewing over the bottom piece and it's also the top pieces. So now you want to um, trim the fabric close to the stitching cutting through all the layers, um, all the top layers. Uh, you see here I used two pieces on top because this top fabric seemed kind of thin and kind of see-through and it was, um, you could see the blue through it. So I did two pieces on the top. Now be extremely careful here that you do not cut the elastics. So when you get to the edges, you need to pull up the fabric and um, carefully stitch around, I'm sorry, cut around it uh, so you don't cut through it. Now we're going to sew the satin stitch and the, um, the nose channel. Okay, so now that we have um, stitched it all, we'll just simply remove it, tear it away from the stabilizer. And then we'll remove the stabilizer from the back. Okay, so now right here between the buttonhole, not the edge here, but between the buttonhole here, I'm going to take a little snip in the fabric and only through one layer. Okay, so kind of like bend it a little bit. You can kind of get in there. You can also snip this on the machine before you, um, right after you sew the buttonhole, you can also do it that way. All right. So now I like to take a 12 inch um, soft bristle pipe cleaner and fold it in half. And I also like to take the ends here and just turn them down. And then I like to feed the folded end in. And depending on the size, you may need to snip that a little and cut that off. But there you go. It's as fast and as easy as that. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed the content and also consider subscribing and hit that bell. I hope you found this information helpful and we'll see you again soon. Make your life creative.